And there goes Scooby on his property for the first time in a long time. We're going to have to make it a short trip because you see those clouds coming up over the mountain. It's going to pour rain pretty soon. But here's some of the fencing. It is, unfortunately, it's barbed wire, but it's temporary. I do not like barbed wire. Nobody really does in the horse world, but it is all we could do. It's a matter of choosing your... <laughs> there he goes into the, into the pond. Uh, it's a matter of choosing your your evils so and living obviously that's a living fence so that's that'll probably that will for sure survive this rainy season since we're at the peak of it but a couple of rainy seasons down the road that will all rot become soft wood and then we don't have fencing anymore but anyway let's walk around here uh, looks like oh looks like this is gonna be a gate so this is open here there's more fencing here on the other side of this tree that they're living, what they call living fence. And so the horses come in here. Oh God, good luck horses. <laughs> it's pretty thick vegetation in here, um, but they'll manage. It won't be thick for long if they like this stuff. Um, looks like from my eye, most of it they will like, so they'll chew it down. This is a fruit tree that I'm hoping survives. Doesn't look too attractive to the horses. So there are, this is food forest, so I have to sacrifice, potentially sacrifice some of the food forest for the horses, but that's just the way it's going to have to be until the pasture is ready for them to be on, on the other property, until it grows up mature enough. Scooby, you're on the outside. Come on. What you doing? Yeah, this is new, isn't it? You're not used to seeing this. Okay, so this is where they'll be. And then they walk around. Come on, Scoob, follow me. Come on. Wow, there are some pretty deep gullets here that I need to ask him about. I don't know if they can... Well, actually, what I see the horses on right now, they figure it out. They learn to navigate pretty... They're not as fragile as we think they are. So while I'm stepping in holes here, and most of us, I think, in the horse world, in the Western horse world, we'd be horrified. <laughs> you just get used to some of these dangers because the horses figure it out. They just, they adapt. I'm amazed at how strong Socrates is. Carina, I don't have to worry about her. She's Costa Rican. She has all this figured out. So you can see here, they've dug the ditch, or I should say they, uh, yeah, I guess the ditch to reroute the water coming down so that it doesn't end at the shelter, which is at the lowest part of the property. Oh, look at this nice guava. Oh my God, I can't pass that up. Oh, it's a little bit and written, but look at that guava. That's coming off of which tree here? Oh, and there are baby bananas coming up over there. Coconuts. Oh my god, look at all the coconuts in that tree. <laughs> Sorry, a little distraction. I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast yet. Because um, I'm trying to get out of the house before the rain. The inevitable pouring rain that comes. So here we go, down to Ta da! Casa de Caballo. <laughs> house of the horses, at least temporary. Solo temporary. I think that's how you say it in Spanish. Anyway, two little gates for the his and her side. Scooby, get out of that ditch. Now he's on the raw property in the ditch. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. There's the barbed wire. There's the extra barbed wire staged up in the tree there. Uh, Scooby sounds like he's in the ditch swimming. Uh, okay, I better go manage a dog here because somebody's walking near the property.